Hello, this is Lee Hamilton. Today I'm going to be talking about the Geomax Zip 10R Pro. Okay, let's cover creating a job within the total station. Turn this light on here and lock it down. Okay, so we create the job. You're in the root menu here. What we're going to do is go up here to this menu and you can either start in data collect or set out. If you're going to be staking out some pins, um, you can start in, in set out, but if you're going to be uh, working on a traverse or surveying immediately collecting data, then you can just go ahead and choose F1 or the number one here. I'm just going to go ahead and choose F1. We'll go into the data collect menu. You can see now we're in survey. So the first thing we got to do is select a job and we haven't created this job yet but we're going to do that inside of this menu. So we'll choose F1. Now you can see here um, this is the last job I worked with and um, it's the sixth entry out of 13 that I have in the system. It's telling you right now to select a job. It's highlighted here. Uh, if I had the job in the system I could just filter through here and choose um, the job. You can see here that this one has a username, um, this one's blank, and this one has a user number, zero. So uh, you have the choice, which you're going to see in a second, to input a user. Then you also have date and time at this window, so as you're filtering through these jobs, you'll see you only have 10 characters that are going to show up on the screen. Uh, so here I have a job that is longer than 10 characters, and it only shows those first 10, so you kind of have to use the date and the time. Um, if you have multiple extensions on that job number or if the job number is longer than 10 characters. So um, let's go, over, go ahead and choose new job and now it's pretty simple here you know this is highlighted it wants me to input a value and then when I hit enter right here by the d-pad it'll jump down to the next one. So I'm just going to type in here I'm going to change this to alpha you see it typed in a number so I'm going to change it to alpha and I'm going to clear the, what's the entry that was in there and I'm just going to call this test. Uh, TR for Traverse. I've got an error I'm trying to work out. Whoops. So then you hit enter and it goes down to the next one and you can put in anything or leave it blank. I'm going to leave it blank. Again, it shows your date and your time as it's clicking down, uh, and then when you hit OK, it's going to create this job. The job is now activated and ready. So step one is done. This first item is done. You don't have to do this anymore unless you're going to switch jobs, and then you need to go in and either create another job or um, select another job off the list.